previous CodeCast, we identified the problem of a system generator scaffold not inflecting properly when a model name begins with a vowel sound. Now we're going to look into the Rails contributing and um, trying to get a GitHub issue open for it. So we're going to go to contributing here in the, the Rails repo and it provides information about how to work and contribute to Rails. The main thing here is to look at the contributing to Ruby on Rails guide. So we're going to open this in a new tab. And then the, um, you have to mention the Rails readme. I expect to, to follow the, the code of conduct, which I'm probably in violation of because objecting to initiating force against peaceful people is probably a hate crime. Uh, we go down. So it has a lot of good information. I recommend reading this thoroughly before you intend to contribute to Rails code. Uh, the next thing we're going to take a look at is the, the Rails dev box. Um, so that is known as the easy way. So we're going to take a look at that, click into here, and read the, um, the readme for this. So we'll take a look at this. I believe on this machine I do have VirtualBox installed, but I do not have Vagrant installed. But we'll start by looking at VirtualBox. And it's running 6.1. I'm going to launch it and update it. I don't think I've updated it recently, so we'll do that. So we've got VirtualBox installed. We're going to now download and update it. And I'm going to read that. So, yeah, the Linux distributions This is the, the latest version of this. We're going to take a look at this. We're going to follow the instructions here. All right, so I went and edited my app sources list. I'm not going to show that. Um, I did it while offline while we were paused. But now we're going to try to update here. Pause again. And I did a sudo apt update to get our list of packages here. The what's showing on the screen isn't going to compromise anything. So, but we have. Uh, I, I then ran. Um, app list upgradable and VirtualBox 6.1 is showing as upgradable now. So we're going to um, to execute the um, sudo app full upgrade command and install that. Our install completed successfully. We're now going to launch VirtualBox here. We've got VirtualBox up. We'll look at the help about VirtualBox. We're now at 6.1.16, which is the current version on the Oracle site. Yeah, 6.1.16. So we've got that part taken care of. Now we need to take a look at Vagrant. Take a look, I recommend again reading through the 
um, the instructions here. We'll pause for a moment. We're going to take a look at this. We're going to go to download here. And um, before I click download, I'm going to look at these installation instructions. It notes you need to make sure that you find the appropriate package, verify the installation, and it recommends that you do not use um, the package main package repo repos on an OS. So we're going to um, go back and take a look at this, and we're going to download. give us a zip file take a look at the zip file all right so we're going to extract this just put it right in the downloads folder. Check the files. So we've got Vagrant here. Let's take a look in the terminal before we do anything with it. This has been we've got Vagrant. It is an executable file. So we're going to do an MD5 sum on this and match it against the what's listed on the website before we try to do anything with it to make sure it hasn't been corrupted or tampered with. So we've got this SHA sums file now. And it has information about the zip, but I see that there's also a .deb file, so I'm going to look and see if we can do something more specific to uh, Debian Linux, which Ubuntu is a subset of. We'll try that. I think we'll keep it. got that. We're going to do a SHA-256 sum on this. We're going to do our SHA-256 sum here. our string. Those strings are identical. So we're good to continue. I'm going to install from the um, Debian package using install the dash f here to get the dependencies. looks like this has worked. So we're going to go back to the Rails dev box and see what else we need to do. So we're going to try to now install Vagrant VB Guest. We'll pause while it installs. So this appears to have been successful. We'll go back to the Rails dev box documentation. Now we need to um, clone the Git repo here. So I'm going to head to the directory where I want this. And then clone it. And then 
cd into it. Let's see if it works. So this vagrant up command took a while to execute. While you're letting that happen, you can go watch some of our other stateless code codecasts and uh, just kind of let it work in the background, grab yourself a cup of coffee, uh, do whatever you need. So now um, it noted early on that this was at um, port 2222, so I'm going to try to SSH into this. Did not resolve it. So it turns out I was making things too difficult. I haven't used Vagrant much, it's just Vagrant SSH. Let's see here, Vagrant at Rails DevBox. home vagrant and then nothing in it so we don't have that we do have 2.7.1 here in in the dev box, so we can just do so we can go on here, um, continue following these things. provides information about the, the recommended workflow here. So it provides information about what's in the Rails dev box, system dependencies and all that stuff that you need for that. And then it provides information about the recommended workflow. So you uh, fork your uh, the Rails repo into your own repo and then you start developing and it provides information about how to how to clone that and um, and install that. So we'll take that up in our next uh, codecast. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching this stateless codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.